Okay, we're gonna try this again because I totally hated the way it came out and my camera's probably gonna go like this. Yeah, the whole time. So I apologize if that bothers you. I already tried to film this once. Here we go again. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today is that time of the month and no, I don't mean my period because that just ended a few days ago. Thank God. I am really excited to give you guys my April favorites. April has been a big month for me. As you guys know, I've kind of had this whole struggle with finding a job, finding a job that I really wanted to apply to, like a whole bunch of crap because anxiety. Hello. I am so excited to announce. Oh, it's not really an announcement. Let's be real. But if you guys have seen my Get Ready With Me video, then you already know that I got a new job. I am now a toddler teacher once again working at a center near me and I'm very excited and happy about it mainly happy that now I have a job and that I'm not broke and freaking out anymore but more so that I'm back in that environment and getting to know the kids and the schedules and everything it's a little bit stressful because I've been out of work for like over a year I'm really excited and really happy that I was able to get a job and that someone saw potential in me and wanted to hire me so that makes me really happy that has been a big thing it's been taking up a lot of my time I went from part-time to working full-time really quickly like <laughs> two weeks <laughs> two weeks which I think is a little nuts but you know whatever I'm not working full-time so I think what I'm gonna do now for videos is I'm going to be filming on the weekends because I don't really have any other time to film them unless I get like a really nice studio light and I could film at night whatever I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen yet I apologize <coughs> because I'm still sick I also got really sick this month which really sucked and also I'm not wearing makeup my hair is a complete mess right now because I just did not feel like putting makeup on because it's Sunday and it's no makeup Sunday so we're all about their lives. With that all being said, if you guys want to see my favorites this month, then just keep watching and let's just get started. And also, I love coffee. Yes, yes I do. I'm probably gonna be coughing quite a lot in this video. So if it's a lot of jump cuts, more than normal, that's probably why. So the first things I have to talk about, obviously, are my new loves, my new babies. I have here the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I am so obsessed with it. I love this palette so much. You can see from that blue swatch on my hand, it swatches so beautifully. It's so pigmented. Like, look at all these colors, you guys. Like, this... I swatched this in the store, like I said, and I fell in love with it. It's so pigmented. Shadows blend out beautifully. I use this palette in my Get Ready With Me. It is just so so nice so I'm really excited about it I really think this is worth the money this is about $38 which honestly is really not bad for a palette this size usually I would say that this would probably be around the Sephora Pro palettes the Sephora Pro palettes are around like 70 bucks 60 70 bucks which is insane or the Natasha Denona ones are expensive as ha huh, hello this this is my first ever Morphe palette I see the hype I love it highly recommend it to you guys and it's not that expensive and along with that I had to get Jeffree Star's blood sugar palette which I love this packaging like can we just talk about it for a minute it is so gorgeous I've never had an eyeshadow palette like this that was so well detailed and well made that I just I can't even with it this is what it looks like as you guys have seen and I did swatch cavity but of course the colors blend a whole lot better on your eyes than they do on your hands let's be real I'm in love with this it is a pressed pigment palette I believe there's a couple colors in here that are not pigments something along the lines I'm not quite sure the details but I have fallen in love with this palette as soon as I saw it I was like oh my god I need it and I finally broke down and got it because since it is officially today two months until I get married and I'm very excited and I just wanted new makeup to use and to and to play with for my wedding makeup because I you know you get married one time and I wanted some new stuff so you know like judge me but I don't know I don't know if I'm just gonna use the Jaclyn one if I'm gonna use the blood sugar I might end up using both I have no idea but I'm gonna be doing some makeup trials if you guys want to see one in a video then let me know down below maybe we'll do that together to figure out what kind of makeup I should do since I am doing my own makeup for my wedding because personally if I mess it up then it's on me but if it's like so like a professional doing it then I'm just like mm, I feel like I'm not straight and then the other eyeshadow palette I have is from Wet n Wild this is one of the new palettes that they just came out with it's called Nude Awakening and you get a lot of pretty colors in there there's some neutrals and there's a black a maroon some matte some shimmers absolutely gorgeous these blend out like a dream I have been using this for like the past few weeks it is so good so so awesome and it really is pigmented even though my swatches kind of suck but it is really great I honestly can't say enough good things about these these are really awesome palettes and I think they're only like five ten bucks so you're pay like so much cheaper than if you didn't want to get Jaclyn or Jeffree like this is really really good and they last a long time they blend out easily absolutely gorgeous I love it now I have some face products one I want to mention is the Maybelline master camo color correcting kit and light I have been using this 
eh, kind of fairly so when I wanted to do minimal makeup. This is really great for face. I would not use this under your eyes unless you use a brush with it, but I was just using like my fingers and just tapping it out. I think I did use a brush actually. Yeah, I might have used a brush. It just, did, I don't know, it just didn't really work really well for under my eyes. It kept having to build it up. You could still see the darkness and stuff, so I mainly use this for my face. You get three lighter concealers on the top, and then there is a green color corrector, a darker concealer, and then an illuminator, which I do like this illuminating color. Like, it's really pretty, but I feel like it just looks, I don't know, I feel like it's just a little bit too tan for me right now so maybe once I'm tanned this summer I can end up wearing this but it is a really nice palette and it's 10 bucks from the drugstore you want to just conceal yourself if you don't like to wear a lot of makeup now for face stuff this oh my gosh you guys I don't know where I've been with this I've been wanting to try this for such a long time now this is the Rimmel London Kate sculpting palette in two coral glow that's what it looks like everything like everything I have literally been using this for the past month it is so gorgeous and so pigmented like I cannot get enough of it like the bronzer is like not too much where it's gonna be crazy and the blush is just really really nice and subtle and then you get this kind of like subtle iridescent highlight which is so gorgeous like you can't even really see it but it, it's there it's a little bit subtle which is great for every day I really love wearing this I was wearing this to work every single day and also on the weekends but I've been doing kind of more minimal makeup when I go to work like concealer powder mascara and and brow gel just because I sweat so much when I'm working and I get really stressed so I was like you know what I'm just not gonna wear a full face of makeup to work anymore I'm just gonna do the bare minimum but this is a really great palette for every day the highlights not too crazy like if you don't want to turn it up that much like this is awesome and these blend out like a dream I can't say enough good things about it it's one of my favorite like contour kit ish things that I found that's a three-in-one that actually really works and to go with that I have this little pretty vulgar blush shout out to Alba because she gave this to me from her box charm I believe these are retailed at Sephora I believe for 28 or 29 dollars and this is in the color prim vixen <coughs> this is really pretty hot pink color reminds me of my code breaker blush from NYX it's just so gorgeous like I, I really like this color a lot really pigmented it is so incredibly pigmented like you don't need a lot of it at all whatsoever my only gripe about this which I do have to agree with Tati on it when she did a video on pretty vulgar is that the packaging like for $29 this packaging kind of feels really like cheapish like which there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever but you know like this this being Rimmel London like I kind of expected it to be like this you know because it, you only pay like five bucks for it compared to Fenty Beauty for example like the little, little highlighter this is probably this was in a little kit for $20 it's nicer packaging is what I'm trying to get like you you pay for the packaging as well as the product so it's a little weird call me a packaging snob but I do love the packaging I just feel like it's kind of cheapy which is you know for $29 Mm, 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 mm. but other than that it's really great it blends out well and of course I love like really hot pink blushes so really excited about that so thank you again Alba this is one of my favorite blushes like I'm obsessed I can't even then of course we have to talk about Fenty Beauty this is Hustle Baby highlighter little mini version and it is absolutely gorgeous I love wearing this oh my god it is just you just really build this up or you could do it really subtle you know the same goes for every single highlighter I think I've ever raved about but I really like this highlighter I see what everyone's talking about Rihanna you, you did it you did the thing girl you did the thing and it's amazing I love it okay now of course we have to talk about this you guys we have to talk about this this is the Maybelline I was gonna say Rimmel London it's not Rimmel Maybelline super safe full coverage foundation in natural ivory 112 this is a bomb foundation I am really in love with how it looks on my skin how it wears my skin doesn't look too greasy oily anything like that my only gripe my only thing that I do want to point out is that this oxidizes on me so bad like it really does if you guys have noticed throughout this whole video that I'm crooked I apologize for that too I just cannot get it together right now when you guys saw my get ready with me video and I used the darker a darker shade of this my face was orange, but throughout the day I got progressively more orange and I actually ended up wearing that makeup when I went to pre-market and everything. So the whole world got to see me have a really bright orange face, which was really horrifying. This is actually like pretty, like it matches me pretty well as you guys can see right there. Like it's just a little bit darker than my skin tone, but it's manageable, like I can work with it. Oh my gosh, you guys, like I wore this on Friday. Throughout the day my face got more and more like orange and I could totally see on my neck like my line. So maybe, like I said, this will be better when I am a little bit tanner because summer is coming 
but as of like right now like springtime if you want to get this in the winter I would honestly go for one of the lightest shades like I would go two shades lighter than what you normally are because honestly it's gonna oxidize so much like I just and the thing is it's not only that I noticed on my neck after I was like eating something and like there was like a ring of like missing foundation around my lips I was like oh my god like this is bad why why is this happening so yes I really love this foundation and I do recommend it to you guys but I recommend you get maybe a shade or two lighter than your natural skin tone because when it oxidizes it then it will match you and it won't look so crazy other than that I think it's really nice it wore really well it didn't feel heavy it didn't feel cakey and it's buildable but that's just uh-uh no just the oxid I don't deal with oxidizing like we no, we're not doing that here okay we're not doing that I have a couple mascaras I don't know what the heck's on these that's really disgusting gross what it's probably from something probably leaked in my bag but I have the this combination of mascaras oh my goodness I probably talked about them last month at least maybe the essence um, volume stylist lash extension I love using this as a combo because I haven't really been wearing lashes I'm just kind of over it at the moment with the Too Faced a better than sex mascara and the on top and then putting on top the essence volume stylist lash extension mascara lashes who we don't know them anymore I don't need lash glue I don't need lashes like this combination has been amazing and I highly recommend to you guys this mascara is probably about five bucks at Ulta I noticed I can't find a lot of essence pro products I want to find at Target then I end up getting them at Ulta I don't know it's just weird the Too Faced better than sex mascara or you could get the L'Oreal it's in the pink bottle that everyone's obsessed with that's basically the dupe for this so that combo everything absolutely everything next we're gonna go into a couple lip products like I said I haven't been really wearing a lot of lip stuff mostly just on the weekends obviously during the week well, before I was working I wasn't really like wearing makeup during the week and now I'm pr wearing pretty much middle when I go to work so I don't really have a lot so who am I I don't know I don't know honestly I have a few things that I've really been obsessed with like the Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub Watermelon Gum I have a watermelon obsession you guys know if you have been watching me if you so much of this I have strawberry gum actually over there but that one does not compare to this like this is my absolute favorite I have this in my makeup drawer I take it with me on the weekends like this is just so good at getting all the dead skin off my lips it tastes great it doesn't have a weird aftertaste to it because I noticed strawberry gum kind of has like a weird aftertaste I don't know if mine's just going bad or what but this one just tastes so so good so highly recommend if you guys want to get a lip scrub from Jeffree Star or need a new lip scrub in general this one's amazing I love it so much. And then I have a Jeffree Star lipstick. This one of his lip ammunitions in Celebrity Skin, which I, you guys know, I've been trying to go through my makeup and just get rid of stuff I wasn't using and use up a lot of my makeup that I have just been, and use up a lot of my makeup that I've been neglecting. So I ended up finding Celebrity Skin in there and I forgot how much I love this lipstick. Like, let's, let's swatch it like right here. It is really pretty. My only thing is that it does pill up a little bit on the lips, which is really annoying. It is absolutely gorgeous. That's what the packaging looks like. These are so good good because I have been not liking matte lipsticks unless I can put like a gloss over it or something just because it's too drying for my lips and now we're getting to be summer I'm getting married <laughs> how many times can you say you're getting married like a lot like no mm, yeah you know like I want to have like nice lips for my wedding so I don't want to like dry them out too much so this has been really awesome I also have Jeffrey's girl in a lip ammunition but I don't really use that one so and then of course we have the little mini Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow that is a universal shade. Mm -hmm. I want to get the full one. I'm probably going to buy the full one or ask for it for my birthday. It is everything. Like I'm going to hustle on right now. This is one of the most moisturizing pretty lip glosses that just makes your lips look so voluminous and so shiny and just everything. Like I can't get enough. If you want to try highlighter or gloss bomb from Fenty Beauty, get the little mini pack because this was only $20 which is I think is a pretty good value. You get a little gloss and a highlighter highlighter in there that's just me because I think these are both really great products and again shout out to Alba because she had it first and then I copied her because I'm like I need it in my life okay so I've just been using this for like the past couple weeks now but I've fallen in love with it again and it's back at Victoria's Secret so I figured I'd share it with you guys Victoria's Secret bombshell summer mm-hmm this is kind of like a love-hate relationship sort of perfume for me because like I love the bottle and I do love the scent once it sits on my skin and like mixes with my body chemistry just by itself like if I just sprayed it into the air I'd be like oh it's so grandma-y like it just doesn't smell nice but on me after a while like this smells amazing and I absolutely love it just like that like I don't really like the scent but smelling it on me like I can still smell it a little bit it just smells really nice and amazing and I really like the scent. Honestly, the bottle <laughs> 
<laughs> let's let's be real but this is back now at Victoria's Secret if you did want to pick it up I'm not sponsored obviously and I did have the fragrance mist but I think I am getting rid of that because that one just I don't know I don't need both you know what I mean this is probably gonna be my new favorite for the next couple months don't know what perfume I'm wearing for my wedding yet I don't know if I should wear perfume comments thoughts I'm having a beach wedding let me know down below because I don't know what to do body spray or perfume we'll just leave that down there now I just have one hair favorite this is actually the salon selectives flexible volume all day control hold hairspray that I actually ended up getting from the Dollar Tree if you guys saw my deal haul and that is what the cap looks like nothing fancy it does smell really nice and it does hold like it holds really well however my hair feels gross but I, it's just because I have like Ugh, and it's knotted because I have like a ton of hairspray in it but it actually holds really well and I don't like a lot of hairsprays as most of you guys know because I feel like they just don't work they don't do anything because it's either I get one that's really flexible hold and it just doesn't hold anything at all or I get one that's maximum hold and it just feels like I have a helmet on my head this is just like a little happy medium and I'm really really happy that I picked it up again it's salon selectives it's from the Dollar Tree you can't go wrong with the dollar and it actually does work really well at least for me because I'm extremely picky with hairspray this one is a random of course <laughs> when I got these originally most of you guys did agree with me because I thought these look weird on me and we're like Sam you shouldn't be wearing those like they look really odd which they kind of do but they're kind of like you know trendy I don't know I've actually kind of grown to love them these are from Zaffle I don't know what the brand of these are it just says like hand polish on there I'm sorry you guys can hear the sirens my window is open and it just has like some weird number numbering right there I don't know but if you go on zaffle.com and look for through their sunglasses I'm sure you can find these these were probably about five bucks and they're actually really nice I do like wearing them even if they do make me look a little weird but they're kind of like those you know like don't talk to me glasses like don't even come near me don't even breathe near me like let, let me live my life just the big sunglasses I know baby sunglasses are in like I used to be obsessed with those when I was younger I had like the Britney Spears brand ones like I was like oh my god like little sunglasses but now it's like big sunglasses are so out and I'm like no like they're always in for me because I don't want people to see my face <laughs> They're always in for me because I don't want people to see my face <laughs> as bad as that sounds I I'm, you know social anxiety problems like just throw on some sunglasses and be on your phone and act like you don't know anyone me <laughs> I do like the style it has grown on me so I've been wearing them so much this last couple months favorites that I want to share are all nail polishes the combo I actually have on my nails right now that I posted on Instagram that I'm obsessed with which my nails will all be chipped by the end of the week bet on it it's going to happen because my nails by the end of last week were destroyed beyond repair like it was awful I am planning on going back to get my nails done though. We'll hear about that in an update. The combo that I have on my nails is P2 Volume Gloss Gel Look Polish. It's only two dollars at Walmart, and it's an Old Maid, which I highly recommend these polishes. Like they're so good, so so good. I have this combo on my toes as well. I've had it there for a few months now and it's still holding up and it looks great and it's not coming off this is really good polish and then on top of it I have a Sally Hansen miracle gel in the color let's get digital so it's just a really pretty blue like iridescent has a little pink flex in there just really pretty just like add a little bit of shine to my nails and a little bit of sparkle you can only see it if you like look really really closely at my nails but it looks so good like it looks like Tiffany blue like I can't like it just looks so nice and then I have this other Sally Hansen miracle gel in little peony I think that's the right word I want to use for it. it's just another light pink because I like to wear light pinks on my nails it makes my hands look tanner makes my nails look longer light colors whites light pinks nudes that's all I've been wearing for the most part I'm very picky now with my nail colors like I don't want to wear colors anymore I don't know what's up with me just a weirdo you're basic Sam that's what's up with you you're basic okay well at least now we know <laughs> And the last few things that I wanted to just give you guys an update on from my haul because I did try some of the pre-mark makeup. I know, I know. I will say on the makeup brush that I tried, which was the Pro Foundation brush, can't remember exactly the name of it, worked really well to apply my foundation. It was just a little bit too loose. That sounded really bad. It's just a little, it's not as like firm of a brush to like put your foundation on with. It kind of goes everywhere and kind of makes the foundation go everywhere. I don't know, but it does blend it out really nicely. I really did like the way that it looked after I was done blending it out. Mm, like I'm still testing it out, so we will see. The blush, however, you guys, their blushes, I told you, are bomb. I love them. This is in Rosewood. It looks so good. Like I cannot get enough of this. This is just a little bit different packaging than the other one I have, which is called baby doll I believe which is a more corally blush but this one is more and this one's more mauve I love their blushes if you have a pre-mark near you go 
try their blushes. Their blushes are bomb. I really love them a lot. Also, their matte finishing powder, I believe. I couldn't find it there, but I think they just like rota rotate out their makeup all the time so they don't always have the same products, which I kind of like that, but kind of don't because it's like if you find something you like, you can't go back and get it. What's up with that, Primark? What's up with that? And then I have here the PHR Perform Hydrate Recover Sweat Resistant Face Powder in Ivory, which was on clearance for a dollar, so I was a little nervous about it, but it actually worked pretty well. I actually used this yesterday and Friday my face and it worked really well. It just feels really hard. That's the only thing I don't like, but it comes off really nicely on the brush, all that kind of stuff. So it did set my face really well. I didn't notice a lot of oiliness or a lot of sweat. Like, I don't know. Like, it, I think it did what it did. I'm not sure, but I'm still testing it out. But so far, it worked really well as a setting powder. So if you could still get this at a pre-mark near you for a dollar, I would go check it out. We're going to talk about this. You guys know how I said that pre-mark had some makeup that's kind of like dupes or rip-offs of like the KKW contour sticks and Kylie Jenner's highlighters, which I kind of have one here. This one is the PS Brunch Club Highlighter, which was $4. The blush was $3. Mascara I got was $3. The blush was $4. The blush the blush the brush was four dollars and the body glow which i'm going to use this weekend was also four dollars so just to throw that out there no absolutely not absolutely not gives you a nice glow so don't get me wrong there like it gives you really nice glow so when i swatch it like it looks really really good like the swatch looks bomb you know that looks really nice and everything but when you put it on with a brush it comes out so glittery like you could see the huge specks of glitter in it and it's just like oh my gosh like it literally looks like when i did my halloween tutorial and i put all that hollow glitter on my face that's literally what this looked like and i was like um no so i did have to tone it down a little bit with my fenty beauty one or my maybelline master chrome this did not not perform as well as I would have liked it to. Really cute packaging. I do like the little embossed print on there as well. Don't think that this is that great. Maybe I'll try it out wet or maybe I'll just try to apply it with my fingertips and see what happens with that. But so far with the brush it was just way too glittery for me and I'm actually really upset because I really wanted to love this as much as I love the other stuff but... So far, we're not having luck with this. Actually, I lied. I just came back in this video because I realized I forgot to show you guys one more thing. The last favorite for this month is my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish Setting Spray. Just look at the sprayer. Can we just... Hi! Yes, it is everything. It is such a nice sprayer and it sets my makeup really well. It's not like a chunky sprayer. I don't even know if that's the right term I want to use for that. But it's not a sprayer that's like going to put out like huge droplets of setting spray and then it sets like that in your face and it looks weird. This just sets everything so flawlessly, so amazing. I love this one so much more than the white version. It's not even funny. I even just bought a backup version because I'm like, I this is my new favorite. My new favorite setting spray of all time is the Wet n Wild Matte Finish Setting Spray. It's about $4 at Target, Walmart, wherever you can find it. So good. So, so good. Wet n Wild is just like coming on top with their makeup and I just put my finger in the lipstick but they are coming out on top and I am so happy and excited for them because I love Wet n Wild so much. <sighs> Long history. Long history we have. <laughs> my hair is a mess. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with it. The usual. Those were all of my April favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and helped you in some way. Give you some things you want to go try out. Things you probably don't want to especially if you have a pre-mark near you. I highly 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 recommend their blushes. Their blushes are so good along with their finishing powders. However, again, I'm still testing this one out, but so far I don't really see any issues with it. It works really well. Their brushes, hmm, at least the one that I got, the huge, it kind of basically looks like a huge stippling powder brush. We're still working on it. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and I hope you have an awesome day, and subscribe if you would like to see more, and also like the video if you enjoyed. I will be trying to post as much as I can twice a week. You guys know I've had kind of a little rough Ness here on my channel and also my vlog channel. I haven't been posting there, which hopefully that's going to change. Videos will be up. There will be two videos unless said otherwise on my social medias and uh, all that other kind of stuff because now that I'm working full time, it's going to be a lot harder to find time to film videos and plan my wedding and find a place to live and pack up my room and yeah so please bear with me the next couple months we will get through this and everything will be great and i'm really excited for everything that's happening in my life right now so but i hope you guys are having an awesome day awesome friday tgif tgif that you're watching this and i will see you